Uh, today I'm going to perform an experiment of electrolysis of concentrated sodium coli solution using mercury cathode. My apparatus and chemicals used include mercury, concentrated sodium coli solution, finger fairly, blue tube, graphite anode, and platinum cathode. Also, our power pad is loose. But first of all, mercury is added to the root tube to an appropriate level. But be careful of the toxic mercury vapor. So the experiment is performed in a thin couple. But then the ionized water is added to the left hand side of the nutrient. Concentrated sodium chloride solution is added to the right hand side of the nutrient. Then a platinum paste is collected to the mercury through the deion ice water. A graphite electrode is put into the graphite electrode is collected to the positive terminal of the power pack. Mercury is collected to the electric terminal of the power pad. Now the power pad is turned on. But you can see clearly, gas bubbles are formed on the surface of graphite electrode. It is expected to be coming gas. At the beginning, the mercury careful has low observation. After 10 minutes, the graphite electrode still has many gas bubble produced. Uh, for the mercury careful, if you see carefully, some very tiny gas bubbles are formed on the surface of mercury. As you know, sodium ion are discharged at the cathode and form sodium amalgam. When sodium contact with the ionized water, it is expected that sodium will react with water to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. In the past, I expected that the colorless gas bubble hydrogen will waste from the surface of mercury to the water. However, no such results occur. Then I look for the reason. I search for the surface tensions of mercury and water. It's found that surface tension of mercury is 0 0.5 newton per meter, while water has a value of 0 0.071 newton per meter. So the surface tension of mercury is much larger than that of water. So I suspect that the reason for almost low gas bubble waste from mercury at the first 10 minutes is due to the high surface tension of mercury. Once the gas bubbles become larger, a few gas bubbles still can be seen on the surface of mercury and will finally rise upward and go into the water.
Finally, I add phenolphthalein to the deionized water to test for sodium hydroxide. A pink color is seen. This proof that an alkali solution is formed. That is sodium hydroxide solution. That is the end of the experiment. Thank you for watching.